Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style, and today I'm going to be giving you a dress shirt collar overview. Okay, so why is this important? Why do you need to know anything about dress shirt collars? Well, if you think about it, the dress shirt sits right next to your face, and in many ways it frames the face, kind of like how a picture frame frames a picture. And if you've ever seen a bad picture frame, it just really detracts from the picture and it takes away from it. That's why museums, they spend so much time making sure that this is set up correctly. And so why would you put something next to your face which makes it look wider, makes it look thinner, it, you know, changes the look. Actually, me wearing a white shirt collar and white, uh, white shirt in general, this affects how my face is perceived and it draws actually very, it's a stark contrast between my skin color and this jacket color and it draws attention to this area. Um, so that's just, you know, I pay attention to those things and I want to teach you how to pay attention to these. So today we're going to talk specifically about the styles, not about the colors. And I talk about other things like this throughout my website. So go ahead and go back to Real Men Real Style and see what you can find there. Uh, we try to make it pretty well organized for you. But let's talk about shirt collar styles. Specifically, what are they? So we've got turn down collars and you've got wing collars. Those are the two main classes of shirts. We're not going to spend any time really talking about wing collars because those are mostly for black tie and white tie. And you rarely ever see those in the United States and really throughout the world nowadays. What you see everywhere are turn down collars. And there are varieties of turn down collars. Mostly they're affected by the angle in which if I were to button this or to button my shirt right here, it would be the angle in which the points go out. And first let's talk about point collars. So what are point collars? They're the most common shirt collar on the planet. There if you walk into any department store, box store, pretty much you're looking at point collars. And these are collars who the points at the end are, I would say, 60 degrees or, or less, or probably around maybe even 70 degrees or less, depends on where you're at. Over in uh, England, we're going to see a few more spread. They're going to be a little bit more spread out than in the United States. But point collars, and the reason they're so common is because they're very flexible. They, they go with almost any type. But the big thing about the point collar is it's going to elongate the face. And for many men, uh, this is actually the most complimentary collar because they want something that if they've got a round face or something that's slightly square, they want it to draw out their face a bit. Now, that's not saying that other types of, of collars aren't great for you, but that, that's really why you're going to see mostly point collars out there. In addition, it, it's just safe. It's going to work with many bot, with many uh, many types. But you can play with those points. Not necessarily you're going to have to uh, look for specialty collars and, and actually ask for spread collars if you want to get the angles to go out. And that takes us to our next collar type, which is whenever the collar points start to go out beyond 90 degrees or 90 degrees or, or more, that's a spread collar. And they're a lot less common and the reason being is that they sort of spread out the face which isn't good if you've got a round face or, or a square face but if you have a really long narrow face you've got a rectangle shaped face or just something that you, you really want to draw out those features that's when you want to go for a spread collar. In addition I like what I call the medium spread and this is one that we've designed it's about 70 uh, around 75 degrees so it's a little bit, you know, it's not a full spread in terms of 90 to 110 degrees. It's a medium spread and I like it because whenever I do not wear a necktie, the points stay out of the way. So a lot of point collars, whenever you wear, uh, they're made to be worn with a necktie. And so when you don't wear them with a necktie, you end up getting uh, the, these collar points end up getting in the way. So we've talked about point collars. We've talked about spread collars. And understand that each of those types, we can have narrow point collars. And this is where the angle starts to come in. I mean, I've seen, <laughs> if you've ever seen the movie Goodfellas, uh, Joe, was it uh, Joe Pesci? Uh, I probably just butchered his name. He's got that really, really narrow. I, I've actually made collars like this before, uh, <laughs> but I've had some people say they're monstrosities. Maybe uh, for this article, I'll go ahead and put one of those up there. But the point I'm making is that you can have a lot of fun with collars. Now, as a custom clothier, I can do this on any of the collars. If you're going to be looking for something off the rack, you need to uh, 
you need to just look and, and ask about it. Hopefully, the manufacturer will specify as to what type of collar it is. You also see them sometimes called, uh, I, I don't know, people will, certain manufacturers will make up names for them. And that I, I'm not a big fan of that because all of a sudden it takes out, uh, it, it makes it unique, yes, to that company, but all of a sudden I'm trying to figure out, okay, what is, you know, what is a Dudley or, or I don't know, whatever they call it. Now, button-down collars. These are actually probably more common than spread collars and they were developed by or they became famous with Brooks Brothers. I believe they came off of rugby shirts and they used to button their collars down so that they, they would basically stay out of the way and wouldn't, wouldn't pop up. And Brooks Brothers took this to a whole nother level. They introduced uh, a dress shirt with a button down soft collar. And this is something that, I, I mean, there are stories of people coming over from England, France, and just going specifically to Brooks Brothers and just stocking up because they loved the make of this collar and, and the way it was shaped. Now you can buy them all over the world. As a custom clothier, we make them a, as well. But you're gonna find that uh, button down collars are because of the button, they are more casual. They're nice because they're lower maintenance. You don't always have to, you still want to unbutton it and, and iron them and press out the point, but you don't have to. It's it's understood that it's a little bit softer of a collar. Um, you can wear a tie with a button down. Some men say that you shouldn't. Uh, I'm, I, I say that you can, you know, just unbutton it, tie the tie and then button it, it looks fine. Or you can do, I guess, you know, some men think it's a little style feature to leave one of them unbuttoned and <laughs> or to leave both of them. I, I don't know. I, I don't really own many buttoned down shirts. I'm, like I said, a bigger fan of the, uh, the medium spread point and I use collar stays. Um, so we've talked about the point, the spread, the button down. By the way, the button down is a variation of the point collar. So you're going to see on button downs that they are usually 75 to 70 degrees or more narrow. Probably, like, I think we make ours at around 60, uh, 60, 60 to 55 degrees. The pin collar. Now, I, I, the pin collar, the tab collar, the club collar, these are what I would consider to be eccentric collars. I sell a lot of shirts, and probably 1% of the, of the shirts I sell are these eccentric shirts. And these are ones, when you see them, there's something unique about them. You rarely ever see them out in the wild, and so let's talk about each of them. The pin collar. This is a collar that actually has a hole in the collar and is made for a pin to be inserted. Now there are non true. There, there are men who actually will use a big. It looks like a big safety pin, and they will run them through a regular collar and you know kind of create a pin collar. But a true pin collar actually has holes, and it's designed for a pin that will go through and screw in usually on the sides to hold it there and to fasten it. And the interesting thing about this is from the side, it will actually push out the tie and it creates a very a very unique look. You have to have cojones to wear this, I, I think, it would be in the finance industry or I don't know, be, be the head of Goldman Sachs or something. <laughs> so let's talk about the tab collar. The tab collar is one that rides a bit higher up on the neck, sometimes has two buttons and is a bit stuffier of a collar. So it's gonna have a shorter uh, collar, uh, the length right here uh, of this, uh, the collar point right here and the, the distance right there is going to be shorter. And so a tab collar is made to be worn and, and it just looks like a bit stuffier of a collar. It's going to fit. It's not going to have as long of, of points going down. And that, that's a tab collar. It's always worn with a tie. It's just a more formal kind of a stuffy, stuffy looking collar in my opinion, but some men like it. All right, the club collar. The club collar is going to have rounded edges. And this I think has a bit of origins in English, uh, English schoolboys used to wear collars like this, and you will see a number of gentlemen who will try to pull this off. It, I think it looks pretty good. It definitely, when you see it, it is an acquired taste. I mean, because you don't have the points here, what you have again is a rounded edge, and so naturally it's going to be a bit shorter. And the angle, it's usually more of towards the points of 75 to 60 degrees. All right, so we've talked about point collars, we've talked about spread collars, we've talked about button-down collars, we've talked about pin, tab, and club collars. Did I forget anything? Probably hidden button-down, I didn't really get into that, but that's a variation of the button-down where the, you can't see the button, it's underneath. I, I make those for a number of my clients as well. And you know, when it comes down to collars and what you can do, it's really up to your imagination. I'm a big fan though of keeping it simple, keeping it classic, and realizing that because it's in such close proximity to your face, realize that 
you don't want it to be something that draws all the attention. It's great if it draws attention to your face because that's where you want people's eyes. But when your collar starts to draw attention away, that's when I think it almost defeats the purpose of what it's there for. All right. Antonio Centeno, thank you for your time and check out the website. Bye-bye.